From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. For thousands of years, the glaciers of Bolivia have been considered sacred. Their snow-peaked summits rising toward the sky, reaching toward the sun. They provide some of the world's most breathtaking scenery and something even more precious, water. But all that's changing and the consequences are devastating, says this man, South America's leading glaciologist, Edson Ramirez. It's very sad to, to find that the glaciers are actually disappearing. It's very dramatic, very, very dramatic. To show just how dramatic the loss, he takes us here, nearly 5,300 meters high, to the summit of Bolivia's Chacaltaya Glacier. Just a decade ago, it was the highest ski run in the world. But today, this is all that's left. According to Ramirez, the snow and ice covering the glacier has shrunk a startling 90% since 1940. The glacier is dead. Chacaltaya, it's dead. And he fears that neighboring glaciers in the Andes will share a similar fate. Many, he warns, may disappear within 40 years due to both global warming and an increase in a climate change phenomenon known as El Nino. If the people not react now, in the next years it will be too late. So we don't have a, a lot of time. But for tens of thousands of people in agricultural communities who rely on water from glacial lakes and streams for their livelihood, it may already be too late. People like 70-year-old Felicia Garcia the ice is melting because the sun is too hot. Our water is drying up. We don't have it for our fields, and at times not even to drink. The effect on crops here is disastrous. Felicia's harvest is half of what it was. There's barely enough to sell, and she fears soon they'll have no food left at all. God gave us everything. He can also take it away. The water, everything. Already, the community that she's always known is disappearing. The men forced to leave in search of jobs, leaving women like her alone to try to keep their farms alive, tend to whatever livestock remains, and raise their families. Seeing these changes has been devastating, says village leader Felix Kispe. His family worked this land for generations. It is very sad. Many people have left. Houses are abandoned. Some don't even have roofs. This hurts me a lot. It affects me very much. Felix himself has been forced to leave behind the life he loves, to sell toilet paper and clean windows. He joins so many others, forced to migrate here to the adjoining cities of La Paz and El Alto. But for him and the city's now nearly two million inhabitants, time may also be running out. Their water supply is running low. This is the reservoir that provides water to one of the main cities in Bolivia. With some 20% of the reservoir's water supply coming from glaciers, many climate change experts, like José Gutiérrez, are very worried. What will the world do when two million of people will not have water for drinking? And water is also needed to generate an estimated 90% of the city's electricity. The world needs to know what is happening in Bolivia. We are losing something that is a human right, a source of life. Water for drinking, for food, for the animals, for electricity. They don't have future. We do not have a future. And they will not, he says, until countries around the world agree to reduce their carbon emissions and protect those who for now are left with an uncertain future and memories of a once happy past.
This report was produced by Andy Gittal for the United Nations.